All right, so this woman has eustachian tube dysfunction and has a globally retracted eardrum. And she's had eight sets of tubes in the past. So um, what we're going to do is, I'll take a six speculum, is we're going to do a laser moringoplasty, which tightens the eardrum and allows the collagen that's all stretched out in the middle layer of the pars tensa to snap back to its native configuration. So I'll take a curette. Margin. Yeah. So just get, get a good view of the eardrum. So in clinic, I, when I saw her, her eardrum was retracted back onto the promontory, the entire, the entire eardrum. And when she valsalva, it completely reinflated. So it was floppy and hyperinflated. And that gave her hearing loss because the eardrum isn't conducting sound properly. So what the laser will do is it'll tighten the eardrum back to its native configuration. We have a alligator. What we can see is this part of the eardrum is very floppy. And the fact that its anterior eardrum is retracted is a sign of eustachian tube dysfunction because that tells me that the there's not getting air into the front, the anterior portion of the, of the middle ear space. So we'll go ahead and set the laser up. So the CO2 laser is particularly useful for this because one of the molecules that the CO2 laser interacts with other than water is collagen and that's called its chromophore. So it's a molecule that, a chromophore is a molecule that a laser interacts with and is absorbed at it maximally. Verifying. Right, so that's the OmniGuide Odo M fiber. Yep. <clears throat> so CO2 laser is different than visible light. It's a very long wavelength and it can't be transmitted through a fiber like a visible light, like KTP. So this is actually a hollow waveguide. It's not really a fiber. The internal, yeah, the, the internal portion of the, of the fiber of, or of the guide is a, a mirror. And so as the laser bounces along, the way it's designed is the laser doesn't lose its energy as it gets to the tip. Because the way the, the multi-layers of the fiber are designed that all light bounces off of it without, with virtually no... Um, loss of intensity. So what's going into the fiber is about, or the waveguide is essentially what's coming out. So you extend it out to there and tighten it down. <clears throat> right, so it's, we set it at, <clears throat> at two watts for 100 millisecond pulse duration, so very low power. 100, 100, for 100, for um, 100 millisecond pulse duration, single pulse. And so what we see is the eardrum right there is when the laser light goes off. See, that's a, it's hyperinflated. All right, <clears throat> so first I'm going to test the laser. So can I have a stick? All right, so does everyone have goggles? Yes. All right, so. All right, so I'll say laser on, and then we'll turn it on, and then, all right, so let. Good. All right, stand by. Stand by. 
Okay, so I'll turn her head away just a little bit, get good view of that hyperinflated area. All right, <clears throat> take the laser. So you want a diffuse uh, firing. You don't want it real close because that'll burn a hole. So I start back very far. Okay, so laser on. So start back, and you can see there's the uh, argon blowing. So you see as I zap it, it's blanching, it's not burning. You see how it's tightening. So. So that whole area now is completely flat, like it should be. Stand by. So I'm going to get the back part of the eardrum, which was a little less retracted, but still, nonetheless, it was retracted. All right, laser on. Stand by. Stand by. So that's pretty much it. So now we have a, a adequately tightened eardrum. And that little bit of char there, that did not perforate it, <clears throat> but that's about where I'm going to put my tube. So now I'm going to put a T-tube in. So we're, we're done with the laser, so I'll, okay. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to trim this. Take an alligator and a scissors. These T tubes come out very long, longer than they need to be. So I'll trim off a bit of each flange. Then fold it back. So, like that. I'll hold it like that. And I'll take a myrangotomy. Take a Miragonomy blade. <clears throat> All right, and take a su small suction. I don't think there's an effusion. Can you put a like a twenty suction on? Okay. And it's pretty dry in there. Now there's a nicely aerated middle ear space. <laughs> All right, so now. There we go. And I'll take a little suction. And so now having this tube in there will help keep it aerated and keep the eardrum from retracting again. All right, that's it.